Hello and welcome to my YouTube page. In this video we will walk through a Python program. In the beginning I will give you an overview of what I plan to cover, then I will switch over to Python Idle Editor, walk you through the script and then run the program in Python Shell. At the end, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Now let's begin. For this Python program, the purpose is to walk through an example of the classes and objects polymorphism concept. A class is a code template for creating objects. Objects have member variables and have behavior associated with them. In Python, a class is created by the keyword class. An object is created using the constructor of the class. This object will then be called the instance of the class. System designs emphasize modular structuring. A problem is often partitioned into subproblems and a solution is designed for each subproblem. In Python, many modules contain one or more definitions. Object oriented modeling consists of identifying the relevant objects for the model, describing these objects using abstraction, and defining collections of similar objects. A class definition is implemented with a class header and additional statements. This includes a name of the class and other information related to the class. In a class definition, two categories of variables can be defined, class variables and instance variables. Class variables are defined usually at the top and their values are shared by all objects or instances of the class. When a class variable is used, its name has to be prefixed by the class name. Instance variables are data definitions that appear inside a method and their values will be unique to each instance or object of class. The name of all instance variables in a class have the prefix self. Once there are attributes that belong to the class, you can define functions that will access the class attribute. These functions are called methods. When you define methods, you will need to always provide the first argument to the method with a self keyword. You can also provide the values for the attributes at runtime. This is done by defining the attributes inside the init method. Polymorphism is an ability to use a common interface for multiple forms and the same class name can be used for different data types. As child classes can inherit parent class functionality, polymorphism and inheritance means the methods in the child class have the same name as the methods in the parent class. In inheritance, the child class inherits the methods from the parent class. Now, let's open up the Python idle editor and we will develop a program that performs class polymorphism. First, start out by putting identification information for the Python file enclosed within three quotations. For the program file name, let's title it class polymorphism.py. Then the author information, and for that, I'll put my name Lewis. Next the date which is October 11th, 2022, and lastly I'll put a short description of the program. This program creates a class and performs polymorphism. This program passes functionality from a parent class onto a child class. This program creates a for loop that iterates through a tuple of objects. Start out by typing class USA, colon, and press enter. Now, let's define our init function. Type def underscore, underscore init, underscore underscore, open parenthesis, self, comma, name, comma, capital, comma, currency, close the parenthesis, colon, and press enter. The init function is called every time an object is created from a class. The init method lets the class initialize the object's attributes and serves no other purpose. It is only used within classes. Now type self.name equals name and press enter. Type self dot capital equals capital and press enter. Type self dot currency equals currency and press enter. The self keyword is used to represent an instance of the given class. Next, let's define our info function. Type def info, open parenthesis, self, close the parenthesis, colon, and press enter. Now type print, open parenthesis, f, Quotation, the country name is, open curly bracket, self.name, close curly bracket, quotation, close the parenthesis and press enter. The F preceding the print statement means formatted string literals and it is a way to format your string that is more readable and fast. 
The self-title enclosed in curly brackets will pull in the class instances that were input above. The print function prints the specified message to the screen or other standard output device. The message can be a string or any other object. The object will be converted into a string before being written to the screen. Next, let's define our metropolis function. Type def metropolis, open parenthesis, self, close parenthesis, colon, and press enter. Type print, open parenthesis, f, quotation, the capital is, open curly bracket, self dot capital, close curly bracket, quotation, close the parenthesis and press enter. Next, let's define our money function. Type def money, open parenthesis, self, close parenthesis, colon, and press enter. Next, type print, open parenthesis, f, quotation, the currency of, open curly bracket, self dot name, close curly bracket, is, open curly bracket, self dot currency, close curly bracket, quotation, close the parenthesis, and press enter. Now, let's create our Canada class. Start out by typing class Canada, colon, and press enter. Now, let's define our init function. Type def underscore, underscore init, underscore underscore, open parenthesis, self, comma, name, comma, capital, comma, currency, close the parenthesis, colon, and press enter. Now type self.name equals name and press enter. Type self.capital equals capital and press enter. Type self.currency equals currency and press enter. Next, let's define our info function. Type def info, open parenthesis, self, close the parenthesis, colon, and press enter. Now type print, open parenthesis, f, quotation, the country name is, open curly bracket, self dot name, close curly bracket, quotation, close the parenthesis and press enter. Next, let's define our metropolis function. Type def metropolis, open parenthesis, self, close parenthesis, colon, and press enter. Type print, open parenthesis, f, quotation, the capital is, open curly bracket, self dot capital, close curly bracket, quotation, close the parenthesis and press enter. Next, let's define our money function. Type def money, open parenthesis, self, close parenthesis, colon, and press enter. Next, type print, open parenthesis, f, quotation, the currency of, open curly bracket, self dot name, close curly bracket, is, open curly bracket, self dot currency, close curly bracket, quotation, close the parenthesis, and press enter. Now, let's create an object for the USA class. Type u1 equals USA, open parenthesis, quotation USA quotation, comma, quotation Washington DC quotation, comma, quotation US dollar quotation, close the parenthesis, and press enter. Now, let's create an object for the Canada class. Type C, 1, equals Canada, open parenthesis, quotation Canada quotation, comma, quotation Ottawa quotation, comma, quotation Canadian dollar quotation, close the parenthesis, and press enter. Before we perform polymorphism, if you recall from earlier, we also want to include a child class that inherits the functionality of a parent class. In inheritance, the child class inherits the methods from the parent class. Therefore, here let's create the child class before the for loop. Type class Sweden, open parenthesis, USA, close parenthesis, colon, and press enter. The child class Sweden will inherit all the functionality of the parent class USA. Now, type pass and press enter. The pass statement is used as a placeholder for future code. When the pass statement is executed, nothing happens, but you avoid getting an error when empty code is not allowed. Empty code is not allowed in loops, function definitions, class definitions, or in if statements. Next, let's create an object of class Sweden by typing s1 equals Sweden, open parenthesis, quotation Sweden quotation, comma, quotation Stockholm quotation, comma, quotation Krona quotation, close the parenthesis and press enter. Now, let's perform polymorphism using a for loop by typing for country in open parenthesis u1, comma, c1, comma, s1, close the parenthesis, colon, and press enter. Type country.info, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and press enter. Type country.metropolis, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and press enter. Type country.money, 
open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and press enter. Now, let's run the module and confirm the program that creates a class and performs polymorphism works as expected. In the Python idle editor header, click run, then click run module. After the idle shell opens, as you can see Python performs class polymorphism. The output shows how Python can use two different class types. We created a for loop that iterates through a tuple of objects. Then we called the methods without being concerned about which class type each object is. We assume that these methods actually exist in each class. Python outputs the country name is USA, the capital is Washington DC and the currency of USA is US dollar. The country name is Canada, the capital is Ottawa and the currency of Canada is Canadian dollar. Lastly, our child class that inherited functionality from the parent class of USA outputs the country name is Sweden, the capital is Stockholm and the currency of Sweden is Krona. Thank you for watching my video. If you've enjoyed this video and found it informative, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload videos to YouTube. I'll see you next week with a new Python video. Until next time, take care.